to another episode of IB Coffee Stop. Where dreamers become doers. So what exactly are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about something that uh, most traders out there actually try to avoid. But I think it's a great opportunity for us to rethink the whole thing. Because it actually can be a good thing. So what is that thing? NFP. NFP. Yeah. NFP. Non-fungible product. No, it's non-farm payroll. Right, we're news. talking about Forex. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, non-farm payroll, the news from the U.S. that affects the U.S. dollar the most, right? Yes, it makes the market go crazy. So, how can you as an IB actually be utilizing the NFP? Okay, you know, I don't, I don't like these abbreviations because... It's because all these abbreviations, they sound so similar nowadays, you know? Yes, NFP, NFT. Oh my know? goodness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so anyways, uh, how can you as an IB really actually utilize NFP or non-farm payroll and create an event to attract a lot more clients to join you? Okay, before we jump into that, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bottom, the like button so that you can receive most updated messages. Okay, now, for all of you Abbies out there, obviously the main goal is to try to get as much clients or traders as much as possible, right? So why and or how do we want to actually get more customers? There are two ways to do it. You either do it online or offline. Actually, we have mentioned both ways before. So if you haven't seen it before, then click on the video, up, uh, the link up there, and then you can actually rewatch it. So uh, offline, how do you do it offline? So basically an offline development is how you actually get to meet clients face to face, right? With the hopes of creating a, an actual attachment. Now, the first person that you will start this off with most likely will be your friends or family. And then via their referrals, it will go even further in expanding the network. Yes, the other way you can actually do it is go by going to social places like coffee shops, uh, bars, and start talking to people and see if you can actually get some of them. All in all, the offline development idea is to utilize the human connection, the human touch, the actual emotions to connect two people together in their own communication, right? That's so right. apart from just words, there's the visuals, you can see, you can touch, you can, yeah. That's all you can get offline that doesn't give you by doing online development or online uh, uh, client development. That's right. Now, obviously, an online development, which most likely you guys are most familiar with, or actually nowadays when everyone's working on home, at home, it is a lot of online development that is happening. Right? So what is online development? Online development is uh, it's simply you going to a website or uh, an app that you use and then just talking to people and people now, in your contacts or new friends or new contacts that you just added. And, and hopefully, obviously, how you reach out to these people, they are within the same network. So for example, if you are doing Forex, obviously you want to target the people who are interested in Forex. Precisely, yes. But today we're going to talk about something which, that is very innovative. Because remember, in the beginning we mentioned NFP or non-farm payroll. Yes. Now you see, it doesn't matter what we're trying to teach you guys over here at, on our Ivy Coffee Stops. We want to try to help you guys increase as much rebates as much as possible. So it can create a winning situation for your for yourself, for the clients, and obviously for the brokers that you guys are working with. So, what is this innovative method that we want to bring to you today? All right, so it is actually by utilizing non-farm payroll and setting an offline setting event. Okay, so let me see if I understood it correctly. Non-farm pay payroll is going to happen in two weeks' time. To start it off, you actually have to create the event. So, you have to actually do the preview, right? You actually have to make sure that you set up an event, you inform all of the customers, okay, that have opened accounts already. And hopefully they all have deposits already. You let them know about the exclusive event that they can join, where non-farm payroll analysis or even non-farm payroll trading will happen live. So in two weeks time, you are going to be helping me and my clients to do a, a live session or we're going to be placing orders and analyzing the market on on the, the day of the, the news live. 
Yes, you know I mean? and the whole goal is, look, what will really attract people is if you can actually trade on the spot right when the non-farm payroll hits. When the news happens, you guys are actually jumping in on the trades and doing it live for the clients. Now, the whole goal about doing this is to make sure that you can actually attract a lot more people. But I have one question though. Uh, let's say I enter a position that you had told me to and then I exit and I lost money or my clients did lose money. How would that make them feel because they lost their own money in their accounts now? So to answer your question, look, losses may occur, right? And profits may occur. Now the whole goal is this. Today in this event, we're telling you how to actually enter into the trade. Now I'm not going to tell you when to exit. I highly recommend all of you IBs out there, if you have the skill sets to be able to do live trading, okay, or even uh, really analyze and trade on non-farm payroll, okay, do not give all that much certainty on everything, okay, because you have to make sure that you can only give half the information. Why is that? Because what if today you told them to exit? You made money, yes, congratulations, but what if you could have made more? Would they blame you for the extra money that they could have not made? And imagine it's the other way around. Imagine they did lose money. Now, it may be the time that they chose to exit the trade. Now, what if we do hold it a little bit longer when the news is over, when the spreads are back to normal, and then the market continues on a trend? After all, you made money, right? Yes, so what you're saying is that each and every one of us present at this event will have a, the same entry point, but we can decide when to exit. Well, they can even decide when to enter, right? Today, we're not forcing anyone to actually place a trade. This is how you should host an event if you want to host it. Basically, make sure that people know, look, this is what you are doing. You can trade live, show them. Now, it is really up to the clients if they do want to actually trade at that specific moment. Now, obviously, in hopes, we want you to make money. Right? It, look, any clients is, are only attracted to profits. I see. And you, obviously, you're going to be teaching people to trade, but only on one single pay, right? Yes. So then basically make you know one trade. For example, maybe on a gold or maybe on a specific pair with a US dollar. And then when it actually profits, then that's it. Okay? Don't do all on the trades. Okay. Okay. My second question to you is, why would I join? Why would I want to join? Well, obviously because of the emotion, right? Imagine, today, you actually saw the live trading happen, okay? And this person actually does make money. This person is the IB that actually makes money for people or makes money for himself, right? We all like to actually follow gurus. This is one thing that everyone likes. We follow the experts. If this person is making money, yeah, why not? Let's follow him, let's learn from them, okay? And also on the side, you know, uh, what if? What if today, um, you know, I actually do do non-farm payroll uh, and I don't trade, but I do learn a skill set. Why do I want to join, right? Because I actually learned, oh, okay, so this is what happens on non-farm. This is how you trade. This is how so-and-so trade. I get to learn it as a client. I get to learn that from you as an IB. So that, look, non-farm, it only happens once a month. So it could become like an exclusive thing. Right? It could become like an exclusive event for your clients that actually only make deposits. Yes, because that would make us feel we are elite and we are VIPs. Yeah. yeah. Look, there's already a basis of trust why these traders want to deposit. There may be multiple reasons. They want to trade by themselves. They basically want to test out the markets. And then because of you being able to offer an additional service and you basically uh, differentiate the depositing people, the, the clients that deposit versus the people who do not deposit into a select event, that is actually very, very attractive. It certainly is, of course, uh, but I still don't see the advantages of doing this. Well, first thing first, right? You have to remember one thing, how we could actually make up an advantage. Now, yes, the clients are already uh, deposited in open accounts, right? but how can you actually increase more client base? I think the advantage comes here, okay? All of the clients that actually made a deposit, okay? You can actually open up a space to let them understand that they can bring one friend along to take a look at how the trades are being operated or how to invest in Forex. You see, this is basically creating a word of mouth marketing. 
where you, your members, okay, bring a friend along. The friend now is part of the exclusive meeting without even depositing. After they see this, and then let's say you do make money, then this member's friend will most likely become your customer because they also want to jump on the bandwagon of also making money via non-farm, via your expertise. And this, oh, okay, I understand what you mean because right mm. now, uh, let's say this meeting is open for only a few uh, selected people, let's say 10 members. So now these 10 members will bring 10 friends and uh, a total of 20 people, but only 10 will be making the place in the orders. The rest are just watching. Yes, because they don't have an account, right? Of course, they're not clients yet. Yes. Now, obviously, all of these 10 people, let's say there's two people that are more conservative and they do not want to trade on the spot. It's okay. No need. No one's forcing anyone to do anything. It's an educational session. It's a session of sharing information and to show transparency. That's it. And maybe put next next month, not payroll, these uh, visitors could become clients as well. And they could then bring their own people. So creating a, a networking of people. Exactly. And guess what? This only happens once per month. Right? All right. Now, of course, by doing this, there are advantages and then, of course, there are always disadvantages, okay? Because it is live trading involved, okay? You as an IB, you either have to have a skill set of market analysis or you need to really work with someone who really knows how to actually do technical analysis or even fundamental analysis because, essentially, this is news trading. It is, and it's one of the most uh, exciting news out there. So, as you just mentioned, people trading on NFP or non-farm payrolls should have the skill set required for that. Yes, that is correct. Well, then, with on this note, we would like to actually close off this session. And we would